Welcome to Business with Edo and let's just jump into it. Like and subscribe for more. Business Day this morning reports that VBS Mutual Bank has failed due to severe liquidity crisis. That's the second bank in short succession to fail after African Bank. But this particular failure, that being VBS Mutual Bank, is incredibly useful for former President Zuma. Some of you may remember that in 2016, Zuma desperately needed a mortgage bond on Nkandla so that he could pay back 7.5 million to government based on what Tuli Madanzela's report said that was um, due to be his private expenses relating to the Nkandla upgrades. But at the time, the Public Investment Corporation, the PIC, granted VBS Mutual Bank a loan of 10 million. Then, in turn, VBS Mutual Bank lent Zuma 7.5 million. Now what happens is VBS Mutual Bank has failed, therefore it can't pay back the 10 million to the Public Investment Corporation. So, and the Public Investment Corporation is funded by you and I, the taxpayers. So, we are the ones that end up losing. And you can be sure that with, uh, when Zuma meets with the liquidators of VBS Mutual Bank, he will not be offering to pay back the full 7.5 million back to them. Maybe he offers them, what, one cent in the rand, in which case his Nikandala upgrade will effectively cost him 75,000. We'll have to wait and see how that pans itself out. But the failure of EBS Mutual Bank, as I said, incredibly useful for former President Jacob Zuma, but incredibly bad for you and I, the taxpayers. That's my take on the matter. Let me know what you think. Post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down there. And last but by no means least, remember that until the two of us meet again, try not to get yourselves lost or killed, and I'll see you next time.